Well, hello, people of YouTube again. Um, back down in my basement, playing with high voltage again. Uh, posted a video yesterday playing with this uh, CW voltage multiplier here out of this X-ray head, and didn't really get anything overly impressive. Um, I thought maybe it was because the frequency of my input, uh, the 60 hertz from the neon sign trans, for various reasons. Um, you know, I was only getting, oh, about two centimeters to three centimeters of arc length, and, uh, yeah, so I came back down, was playing around, and kind of found out, uh, making a fool of myself. I was a little bit stupid. Um, originally, I was trying to arc the DC output from the multiplier directly to ground. Well, it turns out it works a lot better if you arc actually back to one of the legs of the input source on this, or at least within the current configuration. So, yeah, um, this time it's it's quite a bit more impressive than the last one. Um, and hopefully a little bit more enjoyable. The last video was 18 minutes of really not too much happening, so this one I'll try to make a little bit shorter maybe, <laughs> hopefully. We'll see, and uh, actually show you something a little more interesting. But, before I put the camera down and fire everything up, I thought I'd show some goodies here. Um, first off, here's the x-ray tube out of the machine. I found it rather uh, pretty. Um, let's see, it's just uh, rather nice to look at. Probably will never fire it up, but... Uh, might put it on a shelf or something just because I like it. Um, here you can see this is the original transformer that was on this board with this multiplier for the power source for this. Um, it's rather kind of an odd transformer. The wiring on it is rather odd. It's got a really kind of gelatinous uh, silicone insulation and it's a odd um, I don't know, it's just pretty weird, and you can see there, I assume that would be the high voltage side, and there's a couple taps on it, a couple uh, primaries. And then this, if you can see, went on those square pins that snapped down. Um, I'm assuming, just from the construction and everything on this, that that's probably some, uh, I don't know if it'd technically be a flyback, or it's some high frequency uh, paracord transformer that was um, powering this originally. Um, but now I've got a different power source just because uh, I might try to hook this up and get it working someday, but that's a later project. Um, also, yeah, found a, uh, a TV I had lying around that was kind of past its prime and pulled the fly back out. So hopefully I'll be playing with that soon, even though I originally pulled it out to power this thing because I thought NST wasn't going to work. But, um, yeah, uh, once I sort of show you in a second here, I think you'll see the NST is actually working pretty darn well. But that will be a later project. I'm looking forward to actually doing my first experiments with uh, flyback transformers. Well, I'll quit yakking and put the camera down, fire this thing up, and show you some arcs. Okay, we're back. It's fired up. You can see there's a lot of movement in that mineral oil and a lot of corona. It's hissing. It's ready to go. First off, better chicken stick. Still not a great one, but <laughs> a little safer than the one with the metal valve in the middle, huh? Especially now that I see what it's doing. Um, and I also try to, not that my voice is that great to listen to, but I try to talk a little bit louder when it's arcing if I have anything to say. Because I realized last time um, the arc kind of overwhelms my voice, so maybe I need to talk a little stronger. But ready? It's pretty cool.
Sorry, kind of wasn't pointing in the right direction there. <laughs> it's too enamored with the arcs to pay attention to what I'm doing. mark out on the chicken stick here approximate centimeter values and yeah that's I don't know if you'll be able to see but that's working around six or seven centimeters 60 kV huh sounds cool certainly interesting loud too See a little arc over inside the mineral oil? Hope that doesn't kill anything. Um, yeah. Um, so this thing certainly means business now. Huh? Certainly a lot better than the uh, than arc into the ground wire. A little bit more. Yeah, I'll just I'll put the chicken stick down and try to get a close-up without getting too close or frying my phone. No, it doesn't either. Just need a little air movement. Yeah. Maybe I'll try to get a better measurement of exactly that distance, but uh, I'd say it looks to be around six centimeters. Some of the bigger arcs, I mean, it doesn't arc well until you get a little closer. How about that? <laughs> I think the reason it's so intermittent with those arcs is one, it needs to charge up a little bit beforehand, and two, um, I think down there in the connection, that connection to that wire is a little bit loose, so it kind of bounces around and doesn't like it as much, and maybe get some mineral oil between it. All apologies to headphone users. <laughs> okay, what do you think about that? It smells like ozone down here. Mm. Busting up those oxygen molecules. That's fun. All right. Um, here, actually, that's so that ground wire is, uh, yeah, done with that thing. It is still useful, though, for discharging this because our capacitors, so it holds a little bit of uh, juice afterwards. Uh, nothing too serious. It seems about half a second after you shut it off, it already kind of dissipates most of it. Um, so it's kind of like a little static shock. It's not exactly pleasant, so I make a habit of uh, once it's unplugged and <laughs> I can see the plug unplugged, discharging it before I touch anything. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm thinking that looks a little better than the the last time I tried this, huh? Uh, it's only two or three times the arc length for the same exact setup. Yeah.
Okay, so I guess you learn new things every day. <laughs> but, that is cool. I like it. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. You know, and it didn't arc quite that much. Maybe over a little bit. But, you know, somewhere around six, seven, eight centimeters for the biggest arcs. And then, you know, once it got closer in like two or three centimeters, it, it uh, functioned a lot better. But it's cool. It's fun to play with. Um, I'll certainly be hooking it up to a bunch of high, different high voltage sources and uh, seeing kind of what arcs we can pull. Um, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed. And uh, maybe see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching.